Okay, so what I'm about to build from a can and a plastic bottle is a solar steel. One man's trash is another man's treasure. We could place this inside of the plastic bottle and essentially create our own steel that would be powered by the sun. I do have a stream. So while there is water there, I, I can't be sure of the source. I'm not sure if there's cryptosporidium or giardia, any type of biologicals in there. Okay, so we'll have a good sun right here. This tongue's gonna track that way. What I'm gonna do is cut an opening in the bottom that will allow for the can to be placed inside of it. And that will encapsulate that environment and all of this water on the inside will be converted into a gaseous state. And as it rises, trying to evaporate, it hits the wall of the plastic and drips back down into a little ledge that we create. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is kind of curl the underside of this, this bottle back in to create that gutter. And there it is. Now that I've got this place properly in the sun, it's gonna have to sit here for several hours and then I'll come back to check it. So we can see a condensation at work. We see all these little bubbles and droplets. And then as I tap on those bubbles and droplets, they go skirting down the side. I'm gonna carefully withdraw my can. And you see the water has been captured in our little gutter here along the edges. So to withdraw our water, we can take the cap off and now let it fill to one side. And as we tip it, look at that. Distilled water. If you find yourself using these methods, you really messed up somewhere. By being prepared, you know, you, you will alleviate the need to resort to things like this, but it's good skills to know. It's redundancy, you know, you've got your pack, you've got things in your car, you should have things in your purse or your pockets. And then if all else fails, you've got this knowledge that you can fall back on where you can turn trash into treasure and stay alive. Alone at last. Scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.